Hi, my name is Sarah, and this is my first year celebrating a very special Jewish holiday that I want to share with you. It's called Hanukkah, and it starts today. Um, Hanukkah is the festival of lights. It lasts for eight days, and each of the days I want to share something meaningful to me that is associated with this day. So let me first give you a little background, and I'm going to tell you a story. Um, about 167 BC, Israel was taken over by the Greeks. Israel was kind of the underdog among the nations. They were always getting stepped on. People took advantage of them. And during this time, the Greeks raided the temple and plundered the altar, took all the gold out of the temple, and defiled the entire altar in the area where God was worshipped. And as you see during many other times in the Bible, when Israel revolted, God used this minuscule army that they had to beat back these invaders from the surrounding nations. And they began to pick up the pieces and prepared to rededicate the temple. And then they found that they had only one flask left of the holy oil for lighting the menorah, the lamp that was supposed to burn day and night in the temple, a light that was never to go out. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the menorah in subsequent days. Um, but here's a lesson point I wanted to relate to today. Sometimes it feels like our light goes out. Sometimes, and this is something we can definitely relate to around the holidays, sometimes bad things that happen that drain us and steal our joy, and we feel like we have nothing left. We feel like maybe we have no joy to celebrate Christmas, no joy left to worship God, or to even look forward to the future. We look at the future and we say, God, how am I ever going to get through this? I'll be lucky if I make it one more day. And those are times when we really have to rely on God, that he's going to sustain us. So in the story of, uh, in the story of Hanukkah, it was the seven-day purification, purification ritual that they had to go through in order to get more oil to light this lamp. And that one flask was only, only going to last one day. So Israel took this huge step of faith when they chose to light that lamp when they rededicated the temple. They knew that God had sustained them in the past. And part of his commandment was for them to light that light and never let it go out, regardless of what resources they felt that they had. So today, I'm going to light the first candle on my menorah. And this candle has a special name. It's called the Shamash. Um, and this candle represents that one flask of oil that they had left in the temple. And there's a special prayer that I'm going to pray right now, which is said in faith on the first night of Hanukkah. And I'm going to cover my head because in Jewish culture, if you're a woman, you're supposed to cover your head when you pray. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. Shehegiyanu v'kiyimanu v'higiyanu lazaman chaseh. Amen. And this prayer means, Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has kept us alive and sustained us and brought us to this season. Amen. Now you're going to see something special happen over the next week and a day because this one lonely little candle, instead of burning out alone, is going to light all the others. Just like that one flask of oil that lasted not one night, not two, but eight nights. God never promised us that we would have all the resources we need. God never promised us that he wouldn't give us more than we could handle. He promised that he wouldn't give us more than we could handle without him. He promised us that he wouldn't give us more, more than we couldn't handle with him, if that makes any sense. Ow! Hot wax. <laughs> sometimes, we feel, sometimes we feel depressed, oppressed, and broken, and like we've been plundered and our joy has been taken away. But God is still with us. He's kept us alive till this day. He sustained us and brought us to this season. If we take that step of faith, he will never let our light go out. So the blessing over the candles is this. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher kirishanu venitzvato vetzivanu lechad libner shalchanukai. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and commanded us to kindle the lights of Hanukkah. Amen.